Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. Welcome to the match review of Manchester United 1, Chelsea 3. What a win for Chelsea. We are now officially through to the FA Cup final where we will indeed be facing Arsenal after that incredible victory, like I just said, over Manchester United. You know, that is something really to be proud of from Chelsea and for Chelsea fans. It was a real statement performance. There's a lot to talk about. I've got some things I really want to get out there. So without any further ado, guys, let's get into the match review. I'm sure all of you guys are really excited. So drop a like on that video. Let's get started. Let's actually kick start with the team news. You know, how the managers went going into this one. There was quite a lot of talk that we went through of how we thought United were going to line up, how we thought Chelsea were going to line up. And United made some changes, made some interesting changes. They went with a back three slash back five. Um, they kept a hair in goal. I said they'd play Romero. That They probably should have, looking back on it. They went with a back three, though, like I mentioned. I just don't think it suited them to a T. They brought, who did they bring in? I think Fred was in there starting. Um, there was no Greenwood. There was no Martial starting. So United did rest a few players, for sure. Chelsea also went with a back three slash five. I thought that was really interesting. The manager's almost second guessing themselves because both are probably thinking right they're going to play a back four we're going to play a back five and in the end both managers went for the same team so I thought that was really interesting but it worked so much better for Chelsea we had Caballero in goal um like like I mentioned in the in the preview I, I would go for him and he didn't need play he was a good commanding leader for us back there the back three works really really well um I thought we were excellent and I think we've actually been quite good in the back three whenever we whenever we whenever we've used it this season so I was happy to see it out there I was actually quite pleased with the lineup a lot of people weren't but I liked it I think it gave us a good chance of winning and I like that front three of Willian Mount and Giroud you know I mentioned Pedro and Pulisic in the preview but to see those players in there too, they were all brilliant. Kovacic and Jorginho in midfield, I thought were excellent. And you just look all around the team, guys. It was really an amazing performance from Chelsea as a collective and also individually out there. So, honestly, so much to be happy about for us Chelsea fans. But let's get straight into the match action, guys. Let's just talk about how the game went. And, well, really, I thought... As the game approached, you know, 10 minutes in, we were already the better side. We were completely in control. I think we suit that system a lot better than United do. I don't know why they changed off of what's been working for them so well in recent weeks, but they did. And I think a big flaw of United is they have no bench. They really don't. When they make, you know, even like two or three changes like they did yesterday, you know, the changes were minimal and it just collapsed for them. I think they were a little bit tired. They had less rest than us. But I think just think in general, Chelsea, the mentality was better. We were stronger in that. And that was something to be really happy about, to, to show us that we are, you know, building a great team here at Lampard. And we've still got that Chelsea grit and determination in these sorts of games. And I think we controlled the game. Reese James came close. Marcos Alonso came close. We had the better chances for sure. Just a few, you know, United free kicks here and there. That was all they had. Um, and then it was actually Eric Bailly who got injured towards the end of the half. There were quite a lot of stoppages in that first half, but it was Bailly who had the most severe one, and we obviously do give him our condolences. I've heard he's back up. He put an Instagram post up saying it was just a scare, so he's obviously fine, which is great to see. Um, but United actually, whilst it was nil-nil after like you know what, like a 13-minute stoppage, they brought on Martial, so that meant they went back to their usual 4-2-3-1. So they would have been much more comfortable now, but still, guys. You know, it didn't really change anything. And that's why I think people have been labelling this on, well, we changed a few players, we changed the shape. But actually, United played the 4-2-3-1 with, what, two changes, just Fred and James in, and other than that, it was the full lineup. And look at how it went. They were 3-0 down, basically, when they, when they were in their normal team. And they even brought on some of the other players, like Greenwood, um, he and Pogba but both came on really early on in the second half, so nothing changed. So I wouldn't put it down to personnel almost. I would just think Chelsea... Other team you need to give credit for. I don't think United had a good day, but I think we were brilliant, Chelsea. The system worked to a T. And, you know, like I say, we took the lead deep into that stoppage time, guys. And it was, of course, Olivier Giroud, the main man. Yet again, it's good play down the right-hand side from Willian and Aspilicueta. Aspi playing as a right centre-back gets right beyond here. Great cross in and Giroud scores a brilliant goal there at the front post. Just tipping it past De Gea, who surely has to do better there. But, hey... It was a great goal for Chelsea. It was a massive goal for Chelsea. And we went into that second half pleased. We definitely deserved the one goal lead and we got it. And United would have wanted to come out in that second half and they would have been saying, right, we're back in our shape now. We've essentially got our full team on the pitch. Let's go and turn this thing around. Let's go and make an impact. But they had no chance of doing that because Mason Mount picked the ball up near the edge of the area. He drove on a little bit inside the United half and he just unleashes a shot 
on De Gea's goal and it forces a terrible mistake from the Spaniard and well really guys that's an awful mistake from De Gea if we're being honest with ourselves but I think I said this on Blues Fans TV and it's if you don't shoot then you don't score and that's what Mason Mount he got his rewards for that really and a great effort from him and De Gea of course has to be saving it but it does slip into the corner and you're just thinking when that went in oh get in there because we look like we're on course here for yet another final and hopefully another trophy guys but United they didn't give in. I thought maybe Solskjaer was going to rest a few players then, but actually he brought Greenwood and Pogba very soon after the goal went in. So United had their full 11 on and it was almost worse, you'd say. To be fair, they had a few close chances with Rashford and Maguire, but still, I just don't. I just didn't think United created anything. I thought we were so much better than them all over the park. They just weren't as good as us yesterday. And on the day, it was Chelsea who came away with a massive victory and I thought we were brilliant, we were still in control, and we made it 3-0 with about 15 minutes to go. I thought Reese James was going to get himself in the score sheet with a header, but it's a good save from De Gea, to be fair, and he made one a good one earlier from an Olivier Giroud effort, which was deflected into the corner, but a good stop from the Spaniard there, but he didn't save the next one. It was Alonso who got there on the rebound, he whipped it back into the box low and hard, and I think it's Maguire in the end, who had a really suspect game at the back there. He puts it into his own net. I thought it was really good at first. I'm sure all of us did. But Chelsea 3-0 up here with 15 minutes to go. I'm just thinking, can we make this a 3-0 here, guys? A 3-0 in a semi-final against Man United on the form there. And, you know, they've got a 19-match unbeaten run. Chelsea have broken that now, guys, which is brilliant to see. Um, and in the end, you know, we didn't keep that clean sheet. I was thinking, could this be three? Could this be four? It definitely could have been. I think Chelsea definitely deserved to keep a clean sheet on the day. But it was a city pen given away by... Callum Hudson and Doyle off the bench. Um, and of course, Bruno Fernandes gets his penalty. Um, but at the end of the day, we were full value for our victory. It was a performance to be proud of for us Chelsea fans. And it was really a fantastic victory at Wembley. And just a few key talking points, really, before we leave this one today. I just want to talk about Frank Lampard's brilliance. You know, the season definitely isn't finished yet. Anything can happen in the last weeks. But where we are right now, guys, is brilliant. And I try and really get this message across in all of my videos I do. Just to praise the job that Lampard does at Chelsea. Whilst rival fans may not want to talk about it because of their own reasons, we certainly can. And we know, you know, we were in a really tough position going into this season. This season wasn't meant to be successful for Chelsea. It really wasn't. And that's the Chelsea mentality. We saw it out there yesterday. We've seen it throughout the whole season. We haven't given up. We were in that really hard Champions League group. We got through it. We've been, you know, oh, it's been a roller coaster ride of a season, but we are third in the Premier League. If we win one more game, guys, we're in the Champions League next season. And that's where we are at now, guys. And if we beat Arsenal in the final, we've got another trophy to our name. We've got a trophy in Lampard's first season. And that's obviously going to be massive if we can get it. We're playing against Arsenal again. We seem to always come up against them every season in a big game. It's not good for mental health, but it's a good chance at a trophy for both sides. I feel Arteta will certainly be up for that too. I just think that game's quite in the balance. I really do. I can't see which way it's going to go. Um... I'm a little bit worried as a Chelsea fan. I'm sure the Arsenal fans will be a little bit worried too. There's going to be a nervy feeling going into it. But I think if we can bring up our Chelsea mentality like we did in the Europa League final last year, we've got a good shot at it. But like I was just saying there, guys, going back on point with Lampard, how well he's done this season is out, it's, it's just brilliant. It really is astonishing. And he's had a great first season as Chelsea manager. You know, we don't want to be celebrating top four like it's a trophy. It's not in our DNA. We want to be winning trophies. That's why we're we'll going up to the to the FA Cup at the end of the season. But to get Champions League football, if we do get it in Lampard's first season, is really something to be proud of. And I think a lot of fans, rival fans, Chelsea fans would have been thinking, you know what, Chelsea might not even get Europa League this season. And you look at some of the teams that have come through with Wolves, Sheffield United, that definitely was a possibility. But Chelsea haven't given in. The youngsters, the young players have been brilliant. The experienced ones like Willian, I thought he's been amazing all season. Giroud coming in there too. It's been a mix of Abraham. He was notching up the goals at the start of the season. Really put us on path to where we are now. And you look all, all over the team, guys. You know, it's been up and down a lot of the time. But it's something that Chelsea fans can really be proud of in the team, for sure. A victory like yesterday and just how well we've done this season is really great. And I'm, I'm very, very happy with the way things have gone. That's absolutely for sure. Um, but like I say, still nothing finished yet. We still need to secure top four, which isn't going to be easy. We've got two really hard games left in the Premier League. So that's going to be super difficult. And then, of course, that FA Cup final against Arsenal. I was kind of hoping City went through. You know, maybe Arsenal, you would argue, is an easier match. But... It's just the possibility of losing to them, guys. After we buried them in Baku, it, that felt like a, 
a resounding victory against Arsenal. And now we've got to go ahead and play them again after they beat us in the last FA Cup final. And we've never beaten Arsenal in an FA Cup final. They love the FA Cup Arsenal. You know, it's not the most prestigious trophy. But I think as a first, for a first season, it's a really nice trophy to win. And Arteta will be feeling the same. Um... So for us Chelsea fans now and for Lampard and everyone, we'll certainly be up for it. We've just got to see if we can put in that performance, get the victory, and well, that'll make the season, won't it? I just want to end it with the fact, like I've said throughout the whole video, so proud of the boys today, or yesterday, should I say. And yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video there, guys. That's where I'm going to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.